fucking Fort Knox in here. They got 24 hour patrols around the statue. It's gonna be a monster of a job to hit that thing. A monster job is what we need to rattle Faith. That girl has every peg, hey. sir. Hey, rookie. Ready for some action? Hey. Sorry about before. Wasn't cool. Ask anyone here. I do tough really good, but the rest, well, I'm working on it. So, restart. Welcome. You'll like the team we got. Everyone's strong, and we need to be with what's beyond those walls. I hope Earl's right about you. We've all been trying to figure out how to crush Eden's gate. You ask me, it starts with Faith. At least that's what she's calling herself these days. You seen that giant statue on the hill? Of course you have. You can't miss it. Good old Joseph Seed, the father. Faith had her groupies build that concrete eyesore for her sick pilgrimage. You seen them? Those sad fuckers marching their way to that statue? It's horrible. We gotta tear down that statue. Let all those Peggies know their father ain't no fucking god. He's just a man. What do you say, Rook? Go drive a big fuck you size hole into that thing. I might be addicted to killing Peggies, but at least it ain't drugs. Folks laugh about preppers, but I'll tell you, without them, our resistance would be SOL. Yes. Years of paranoia has made How's it going, lady? Nice to see you, ma'am. Virgil's treating this place like a goddamn campaign office. They took over the water treatment and they're poisoning everything. Hey, deputy. Can we talk a minute? We got one big job around here, and that's to stop Faith. She took everything from me. My job, my marriage, even my son. All because of that bliss. You're one of us now, a cougar. We're a team that helps each other, and I need your help right now, deputy. You know about our water treatment plant? The cult took it and started pumping it full of bliss. You believe that? Right into the drinking water. What kind of monster does that? Well, she's not getting away with it any longer. I tell you straight, we're gonna shut it down fast. What do you say? Nothing beats Montana skies. Even Faith can't spoil that. Hell yeah! Shark it!
am Charlemagne Victor Beauchamp. Now, if you require more brevity in your day-to-day -day life, you can just call me Sharky. Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me, without the prying eyes of my P.O., or witnesses, or law enforcement types such as yourself. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. Got a sweet-ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels get the fuck out of here, Johnny Law. I know my rights. I ain't doing nothing wrong. All right, then. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces off. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send-off to disco heaven, man. You wanna help? It's good fun, man. I promise not to tell anyone. We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I supply the music, and I use the flamethrower to make them dance, and you use your, um, I don't know, whatever it is you got. Let's just burn this mother down.
Man, it was all calm and cool on you. What can I say, amigo? You and me, we got chemistry. We're like, we're like a freaking team. All right, get back out there, man. Call me next time you're taking on the angels. I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. He gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her death. She would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. You must have faith. Let go. <gasps> Let your faith be your guide. Leap. Accept the word of the Father into your heart.
let your faith be your guide. Leap. Accept the word of the Father into your heart. your faith be your guide. Leap. Accept the word of the... I will give you purpose. I will set you free. She's one fat hunk of cement. You're gonna need heavy ammo to take it out. Or something with a mounted gun that flies. You're smart. You'll figure it out.